Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be installing Ubuntu Linux onto this Acer C7 Chromebook. Now this is a customized version of Ubuntu, also known as Crewbuntu 12.04 LTS for those of you who care. And so before we get started, I want to mention that you should back up any local files that you have stored on the netbook because it's going to delete and erase everything. If you have stuff stored on your Google Drive and the Cloud Sync, then you should be fine when you log in again. It'll restore all of that stuff, but be sure to make a backup of your local files stored on here. And you should also look into making a recovery disk. In my previous video, I create a a recovery disk using the, the Chrome OS itself and you can create it if uh, you want on Windows or Linux or even Mac OS X and so it's a good idea to have that as a backup you don't necessarily need it for this project we're, we're about to do today to restore everything back but it's a good idea to just have something in case something happens and we can't get the Chrome OS back installed on here alright so with that said we're gonna go ahead and get started so first what I'll do is I'm going to shut down the machine here. So I'm going to hold the power button and it's going to go ahead and shut down the machine. And we got to go into developer mode. And to do that, you press the escape key and the function 3, F3 key. It's the top left little circle button. And so when you hold that down and then press the power button, so you hold escape, F3, and then you press the power button and then you let go. And you're at this screen here, it looks kind of scary, it says Chrome OS is missing or damaged, please insert a recovery USB stick. Pay no attention to that, we're going to press Control D, as in David. Right, so press Control D, and then this will pop up to turn OS verification off. I'm going to go ahead and press Enter. And then uh, it's supposed to reboot and boot back into your machine. Right, and then we have this OS verification is off. Press space to re-enable, it's kind of scary. You can either sit here and wait the 30 seconds for it to boot up, or you can hit Control D again, and it'll skip this and boot up immediately. And so once we have that, we have now entered into developer mode. And so it's starting up here, and you have a last chance to exit out of this developer mode if you want. The little countdown timer is up on the top left here. And if you wanna cancel this whole process, you can just hold the power button down to turn off the machine. But we want to continue on and let this move on. So we'll let this boot up now. All right, so now we are preparing the system for developer mode. And what's happening here is that there's a little progress bar that goes, scrolls across the top of the screen here. And there's an ETA of about five minutes. So let's go ahead and uh, wait for this to reboot and we'll continue on. All right, so when the update is finished or the developer mode transition is done, uh, it should have rebooted, but I don't know why it shut down on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it back on. And when we power it back on, we will be in developer mode. So we can go ahead and skip this again control D and so it's gonna start up as a normal first time boot with everything wiped out and cleared only this time we can get into the developer mode console and so we'll let this boot up again and we do have to connect to a wireless so the first thing you do is connect to a wireless here but we don't fully log in to our Gmail account with this so let this boot up Then we'll select our wireless and connect to the wireless. You don't have to connect to the wireless either. You could also connect to the ethernet using the ethernet port on the Chromebook, but I'm gonna go ahead and use wireless. All right, so as you can see here, I'm connected to the wireless, but uh, we're not gonna continue on. What we're actually gonna do is go on the keyboard here and hold down Control Alt, the CTRL and the ALT button control alt and then we're gonna press the forward key the forward arrow key up on the top left here it's also indicated by the F2 so once you hold down control alt and press F2 we're in the developer console here and we can begin by logging in to the user known as Kronos so it's C H R O N O S right Kronos press enter and then what we're going to do now is type in sudo bash 
S U D O space bash B A S H. Right? Press enter. All right, now we're uh, logged in as a local user. And what we're going to do now is uh, install or activate the Chrome OS firmware update or, or the developer BIOS as it's known as. So we're going to type in C H R O M E Chrome OS, Chrome OS dash firmware F I R M W A R E update all one word firmware update no spaces yet all right now we're going to put a space and do a dash dash mode m o d e equal sign to dev t o d e v right and then we're going to press enter all right gives you a little bit of information as to what it has done and then now we're ready to install Ubuntu so we're gonna press or type in exit to exit out of this firmware update business right and then we're going to now type in wget w g e t space h t t p colon forward slash forward slash g o o dot g l slash i the letter i eight one seven v as in victor and then semicolon and then space s u d o pseudo bash b a s h space i eight one seven V. Now this URL that we just typed in HTTP Google slash I eight one seven V that might change sometime in the future when you're watching this. Hopefully if it does change, I'll have an update for you as to what you're supposed to type in there because this is the latest version. That's where it's located. And so in the future, who knows, it might go to uh, 12.10 Ubuntu Linux and that URL may change. So if it doesn't work for you look to see if you've typed this in correctly it is very important that you type it in correctly every letter all right and so once we're ready you can press enter it's doing its magic it's telling you something about the version of chrome os in 64 bit but don't worry about that just press enter to continue and so now what we're going to do is assign a size to our ubuntu linux right down here at the bottom it says enter the size in gigabytes of what you want to reserve for Ubuntu. Uh, the most space we have is uh, 293, although 292 is recommended. I'm just going to say 200 because I'm going to leave some space for the Chrome OS. So I'll just go ahead and say 200. You can make that uh, however size you want. I don't know how to resize it later if, uh, if it ever becomes a problem. So I'm just going to use uh, 200 gigs as my hard drive space. So I press enter and now it's partitioning, repartitioning everything, downloading some files, working its magic. And so it's probably going to reboot here. It actually shut off. It's my, my Chromebook has a problem with rebooting. So I'm gonna press power to turn this on again. And so once we turn it on, we're at back at this uh, OS verification is off screen. I'm going to hit control D again. You could sit there and wait if you wanted to But I'm going to go ahead and skip that we are still in developer mode and So as you can see here the system is preparing itself uh, Because we just repartition some things we move things around and It kind of seems like we're going through this process again, but it just got shit things got shifted around so we just have to sit through this it's going to take about five minutes we're going to get back into developer mode and then actually download and install the kubuntu right. all right once again it's turned off and i'm going to go ahead and fire it back up yours would probably reboot and so we're back on this os verification is off Control d to skip it again 
and then we're going to wait for this to boot up and then we're going to get back into the developer console and so once again we're presented to connect to the wireless so we'll go ahead and connect to the wireless right and once we're connected we got to go into the console again so remember it's control alt and the f2 forward button and there we are we're back at the console here and now what we're going to be doing is again typing in Kronos then we're gonna type in wget space HTTP again we just did this not too long ago alright so we got our long terminal command here and we're gonna go ahead and press enter and then it's giving you the error again saying that uh, the Chrome OS isn't 64 bit, yeah, whatever. Press enter. And so now what it's actually doing is it's downloading and installing Chrome OS. Now it's gonna take a little while because it's about a gig large. And so depending on how fast your internet is will determine how quick this takes. Uh, your screen might black out but don't worry just press spacebar and wake back up again uh, you don't have to keep it awake the screen on um, just it will download everything it needs to download in the background so go ahead and let this run but if you want to see what the progress is going on all the time periodically you would just press spacebar or something like that it won't it won't interrupt anything and so once it's done and finishes installing it's actually going to reboot itself and it's going to go right into ubuntu so uh, once we do that um, i'll show you after how to assign your default boot os or how to get back into the chrome os if you want all right our system has finished and so we're going to go ahead and power it back on again it should have actually rebooted again I'm having some issues with my rebooting. And so anyways, we're going to hit control D to skip this. And voila, here we are with our Ubuntu Linux. It wants us to connect to a wireless network or whatever, but uh, not too familiar with uh, Ubuntu Linux, this particular version of Ubuntu Linux, but I'm going to enjoy playing around with this. And so what I'm going to do now is go into showing you by shutting down and restarting. We're going to uh, go in to select, uh, type in some commands to select a specific operating system to boot um, automatically. All right, so when you restart your Ubuntu Linux, what happens is that it boots back into Chrome OS. And so what we're gonna do now is that we're going to set this to permanently boot through Ubuntu Linux or Kubuntu. And then uh, from uh, inside of Ubuntu, I'll show you how to boot back into Chrome OS, All right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the developer console. And remember that's Control-Alt-F2. And once we're here, we're going to type in Kronos to log in as a user. And then we're going to type in sudo space cgpt space add space dash i space the number six space dash capital P space five space dash capital S space one space slash dev slash sda all right and so once we press enter there you don't get any type of confirmation we're going to type in exit and once you type in exit you can go ahead and go back to the main screen here which is control alt f1 and then you can go ahead and hold the power button for it to shut down and so once it shuts down we can go ahead and fire this back up and it's going to start and reboot itself into Ubuntu Linux. Oh, we can control D, skip that one more time. All right, and here we are back into Linux. Now, let me show you how to get back into Chrome OS. 
And so what you can go up here into the dashboard, type in terminal, right? And we'll start up the terminal command. And in here, it's gonna be almost the same except the five we turn into the zero. So then we'll just do sudo space CG PT space ADD space dash I space six space dash capital P space zero, the number zero space dash capital S space one space slash DEV space oops no not a space slash SDA press enter it's gonna ask for a password for your user and if you didn't create one the password is user user and then that's it and we can go ahead and close this out and then restart our machine I'm going to go ahead and just shut down the Chrome OS starting up again. And so once it reboots, the last thing I'm going to finally show you is how to undo all of this and restore back your whole entire system. So we're going to go ahead and power down the system so it's off now. And so what we'll do is we'll hold the escape F3 and press the power button to boot into the recovery mode. So we'll press that. Now that we're in the recovery mode, we're gonna insert our USB drive that we've used to, uh, or that we created. Hopefully you were able to create that. What you could also do is that in the beginning when it asks you the uh, OS verification is off, press spacebar to enable. If you press spacebar to enable, it will redo everything and uh, you'll still have your partitions on there, but uh, at least it'll just boot back into Chrome OS. Uh, but the uh, Ubuntu Linux isn't going to be installed on there anymore. It'll be wiped out. But uh, this particular method restores everything, all of your partitions, everything back to normal. So this takes about uh, about like maybe 10 to 20 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to uh, redo. And so once this is complete, uh, you'll be back to the clean uh, Chrome OS as you started. All right, and so that's pretty much it. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, please feel free to share this video if you want. And uh, I'll have one more last video talking about the uh, Windows installation uh, very soon and uh, why it can't be done uh, as of right now, temporarily for now until I figure it out or somebody figures out how to do it. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.